Um, because we don't want to make something that is going to make me sound like an idiot. Hey guys, welcome back to the Shepherd Farm. I hope you guys are having a great day. Be sure to let me know in the comments. Today we are making a guillotine gate for a handling system that we're going to be building for our sheep. So we had a bookshelf that we found in the trash and we're going to use it as the main frame for our gate. And then this is three quarter inch EMT that we had left over from a previous project. Earlier today we went out in the field and measured one of our bigger sheep to get a general idea of how wide we needed to make our gate, which is what we will be doing first, that is making the gate. And then we'll put the frame around it to make sure that everything fits perfectly. So we got the gate welded together and cleaned it all up with the grinder. Then we realized that daddy messed up. He put two lines on here. One was for where how far this pole would stick into the track and then another line over here where this bar was supposed to be. And he messed up and he put it on the wrong line. So now we have a piece, another piece of pipe that we cut in half and then we're going to weld them on here to kind of make a buffer, like an ex extension.
Sorry if my bald head is blinding you guys. So now we're on to making the main frame for our gate, which is going to be made out of this. So this bar is welded in at both ends. So on this end, we're going to cut the bar completely out and make a, a different bottom for it so it's flush with the ground because since we're going to be running sheep through it, you don't want them tripping over themselves because that could cause problems. and. I don't want to have to go in through a herd of sheep and fish them all out. So for the other end, it's also the, it's the same setup, bar welded in on both ends, but we're only going to cut out the weld on one end. And then we're going to cut the bar to a certain length to, to fit our gate. Then we're going to weld everything back together and that's going to be the top of our gate.
So we welded a hook on the top of our gate for something to tie the rope to. And of course, this is not the actual rope that we're going to be using. We're going to be using something a little bit better. Um, and we got the pulley installed. And just as a general, you know, idea of how it works, you go up and go back down. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> When you raise it up, your sheep run through. Yeah. Whack. <laughs> oh. Floopers. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. If you are interested in the making of the guillotine gate, we are making a second one. If you guys want more of a how-to video with exact measurements and materials and tools used, be sure to let us know in the comments. Um, other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Um, be sure to let me in the comments. <sighs> Darn it. Um, be sure to let us know in the comments. Um...